one of the the things about doing this show is that um, I had to make the puppets. Until recently, I probably wouldn't have described myself as a puppet maker. I would have said I'm a puppeteer, and I really try to make puppets, but I don't do them very well. Buttons gave me the opportunity and sort of forced the the responsibility of the puppetry onto me. And this was very exciting, and, but it was also quite a challenge. And it's been really interesting because I've kind of found sort of my my voice through puppet building, if that makes sense, or my style, my, my way of making. And that's not something that I ever had before. Um, I had to do a lot of experimentations, I had to do a lot of trial and error, but I was slowly getting to the point where I could actually make a puppet and it was there. Because, because the show kind of provided some some limitations like it would have just been me puppeteering so that I have to think about how can um how articulated it is how can I puppeteer it by myself with you know with keeping the life and not be you know it being wibbly wobbly so I had to be able to make them quickly because me and Dana are a very kind of fast devising process. There's puppets I made that we didn't even use. We, we could find stories and and characters or, or people one weekend and I could make the puppet and then we'd go, it just doesn't fit in now. Because we, we, you know, the puppets aren't characters. There's no character who we're following. Um, so we couldn't decide who would be involved at the start. We kind of had to find who those people were, and then I had to find them through through making them. And we started off with the buttons, so had a button, put it on the OHP, you got a puppet. Easy. But of course we wanted to develop, you know, further from that. What was really great was to take something so simple as a button and then use that aesthetic in other puppets. Um, so I had a very, very simple overall design, which was really useful. The, the circle and the two eyes just always works. Despite the fact that every puppet has the same face, they're each a different character. It also meant that I could play with scale. You know, we have a button face that is as big as a paper plate, but then we have one that's about that big. But yeah, it's been... It's been great and I'm really looking forward to sharing these people who I've made, who I've developed and who I bring to life.